guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be playing some Friday the 13th on the Commodore 64. Um, yeah, I've, I've now I've played this on the Nintendo, the Friday the 13th on the Nintendo. Slightly different game, well actually it's a quite big different game. Um, it, it's not as robust as that one, and uh, this one's a little bit more simple. But I mean, I had fun, like, when I played this as a kid, and I had this, you know, I bought this as a... Uh, you know, for the Commodore 64 on diskette, and I played it all the time, and unfortunately it was one of the discs I had to sell when I got rid of my uh, Commodore 64, so I haven't actually played this one in a long time, so it's going to be fun to actually dive back into this game and, and give it a shot. Uh, so basically it's the same premise, you're, you're, at, you're in the camp and you're going after Jason. So anyways, let's give this game a whirl. Okay, so we got the uh, screen set up here. Friday the 13th, can you find and kill Jason before he can kill you? Question of the day. Uh, and it gives you kind of like a a little bio of the characters. So let's start playing. Okay, so you see we're in a church. Um, there's a cross there. So the first thing you gotta do is find yourself a weapon. And the good thing is there's plenty of them scattered around. Um, I'm just gonna find one. There. Those are all your friends, I guess, just kind of wandering around the camp. They obviously don't realize there's a killer after them. So let's see. There's a big honking axe. Oh. Oh, which turned into a pitchfork. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is um, we're going to wander around until we find Jason, essentially. Um... And you can just keep going around here. There's a barn. It's just a lot of exploring. So if you're really into the exploration type games, that's like a, a club or something. I don't know. <laughs> just a boring weapon. So let's, let's keep the pitchfork. Old McDonald had a farm. It tells you which weapon you have down there at the bottom. And then below there is your friends. Just uh, let's get that axe. I like the axe, swinging an axe. Oh, we're back at that church again. Um, also, the board isn't so big. I mean, it's you know you pretty much cover it in a few screens, and then it kind of just loops around. We're just looking for. You know, there's the barn again. Just looking for Jason. And they don't give you a map option either. You know, it'd be handy if you could click on a. A little map icon, and it will show you where you are. Um, now, the reason why I'm hitting the people is, is I think that's the only way you can find out if Jason's there. <laughs> oh, oops. Okay. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anybody home. It's a big house. But, oh, keep dropping the item. Uh, I guess that's the side effect of having one button to do everything push the button to drop, and then you have to push the direction you want to swing in to actually swing the, the uh, axe. There's nothing here, eh? This Jason's not here. Yeah. I don't know if I'm killing them by doing that. Hope not. <laughs> Also, uh, below me there, you can see there's a little, um, looks like dumbbells or barbells on a, on a, or bars. Um, that's your life total. And then that's you, I guess, the little the girl there. I think that's a girl. <laughs> Somebody died. We're gonna have to find out where. So you can see it turned into a, uh, a little tombstone down there. Um, I'm just going to keep wandering until I find somebody. You'll typically find the body that uh, was killed somewhere on the ground. I just don't know where Jason is hiding right now. Sometimes he's in the church. Maybe I should check the church again. found the church a few times. Here somewhere. I think it's 
just down here near the near the tombstones. Yeah, it's right here. Hey, buddy. That's another thing. You can't can't swing up or down. You can only swing right or left. Jason kind of disguises himself as one of the friends, so... And the other thing, he doesn't really look like Jason from the uh, movies. He's just wearing a black suit, black hair. He looks more like John Kreese, I guess, from Cobra Kai. <laughs> Where you go? There he is. Here. I know it's you. It's the one with the green hair. Did I get him? <laughs> I got him. Jason is dead, but for how long? Seven people equals bonus. Seven thousand points. Wendy Watson is a shy girl who friends, friend, finds life quite a struggle, always depressed. She has earned her nickname of Waterworks Wendy over the years. Okay. I think from here on in, it just kind of repeats itself. Oh, a new character, too. I think so. But yeah, you just kind of keep going. And, um, you notice the health meter didn't really change. So, you kind of keep playing until Jason kills you. Which means you have to continuously keep looking for him. Yeah, that's uh, that was pretty much the game. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't do much more than that. It's nice and simple. It's fun. It's it's one of those you just really got to keep exploring until you find Jason. Obviously, the less friends that die, the better. And um, you know, I guess if you keep going, you can you can roll through all the different friends and eventually. Uh, I, I don't know. I've I've never actually gone that far. Uh, usually, I end up getting axed by Jason at some point. But it's really cool. And you know, there there is sometimes it go, goes to these cutscenes. Um, but I wasn't able to figure out when or how that happens. But there would be this cutscene where you'd see this person with an axe in their head or something. Um, it happened when I was trying it out the first time. Unfortunately, when I recorded it the first time, I didn't have my audio on, which really sucked. Anyways, yeah, that's Friday the 13th for the Commodore 64. Let me know what you think of the game. Have you ever played it? Have you played the Nintendo version? Have you played any other versions? I know there's a, there's one out there for the uh, what is it, the Xbox and stuff. There's like a you know full on 3D 3D movie like game, but uh, you know that's completely different. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.